Welcome back to our Riverside Chats. Every day around the world, there are countless people in hospitals who are in desperate need of blood. From accident victims to those undergoing surgeries or battling chronic illness, blood is often needed to save lives. But here's the thing. Blood can't be manufactured in a laboratory. The only way to supply it is through voluntary donations from people like you and me. Why is blood donation so important? Well, there are many reasons, but let's start with the basics. Every two seconds, someone in the world needs a blood transfusion. One donation of blood can save up to three lives. This is a statistic that should grab your attention. Whether it's for someone who's lost blood in an accident, a cancer patient undergoing chemotherapy, or a mother giving birth, blood donations are crucial in the world of medicine. The need for blood is constant. In emergencies, natural disasters, and medical treatments, hospitals always need an adequate supply of blood. Unfortunately, the demand often exceeds the available supply. While hospitals may be well-stocked during certain times, there is always a shortage during others. Blood banks often struggle to meet the need, especially during holidays or in the face of unforeseen events. What are some misconceptions about blood donation? Some people are hesitant to donate blood because they fear it'll be painful or harmful to their health. Let me reassure you, blood donations are safe and relatively painless. The actual process can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes or up to an hour, and your body replenishes the blood you've donated in a short amount of time. Donating blood is fairly quick, easy, and a safe way to help others in need. Did you know there were different types of blood donations? And I'm not talking about your blood type. I mean, there are different ways you can donate. That's why the amount of time a donation takes varies. The first type, whole blood donations. It's the most common and traditional form of blood donation. When you donate whole blood, you give about a pint, which is about 470 milliliters, that contains all the components, red blood cells, plasma, white blood cells, and platelets. Whole blood is typically used for patients who need a large volume of blood, such as trauma victims or patients undergoing major surgery. The second type of donation is plasma. Plasma is the liquid portion of the blood consisting mainly of water, proteins, and other nutrients. Plasma donation is when the plasma is separated from the other blood components, red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells, and collected while the rest of the blood is returned to the donor. Plasma is used for patients who suffer from severe burns, liver disease, or clotting disorders like hemophilia. Third is platelets. Platelets are the small cells in the blood that help with clotting. In a platelet donation, much like the plasma donation, blood is drawn and the platelets are separated using a machine and the red blood cells and plasma are returned to the donor. Platelets are often needed for cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy, individuals with blood disorders like leukemia, or those recovering from surgery. And lastly, we have power red donations. Power red is the donation type that involves donating red blood cells while the plasma and platelets, you guessed it, are returned to the donor. Red blood cells are used in patients who have lost a significant amount of blood, such as a trauma victim or those with anemia, or in patients undergoing surgery. Now, did you know that there are blood types that are more desirable for donations than others? When it comes to blood transfusions, type is everything. Blood types are classified based on proteins that are present in blood cells. There's a whole lot of science behind it, but essentially you can be type A positive or negative, B positive or negative, AB positive or negative, or O positive or negative. If someone receives blood that's not their type, their immune system will attack those blood cells and lead to some pretty severe reactions. Now, AB positive is the universal recipient because they can receive any blood regardless of the type, while O negative is a universal donor, the blood type that can be donated to anyone. This is because O negative lacks the antigens that will trigger a reaction to recipients. Donating blood directly contributes to the well-being of individuals in our communities. It helps maintain the health and quality of life for people with chronic diseases, those recovering from surgery, or those requiring specialized treatments. It ensures that healthcare systems are prepared to respond to emergencies and disasters, reducing preventable deaths, and improving community resilience. As always, stay happy and healthy. Until next time.